I know these shoes look really shiny already. Um, I wore these to a funeral a couple of weeks ago and I haven't worn them since. I don't wear my black shoes very often. Um, so I know they look pretty shiny, but I'm going to shine them again because I have to wear them again soon. Um, but I'm going to teach you a little secret I have about making sure your mirror shines look really, really shiny. And I think that's especially important on black shoes since you wear them to the most formal events like weddings, funerals, job interviews. So I'm going to teach you uh, a method that I use uh, to get them really shiny when I'm kind of short on time and I don't have, uh, you know, a couple of days to shine them to make them look really great. So let's get started. This is The Elegant Oxford with your host, Preston Soto. Black shoes are the unsung hero of the shoe world. I know I don't wear mine very often, um, but there are some occasions where no other shoe will do, such as weddings or funerals. Uh, on some occasions, the black shoe is the only thing that'll work. So here's to the black shoe. A stiff pig bristle brush will get all that dust off. I'm going to skip the renovateur this time because the shoes were just shined, but I'm going to add some pigment back with some black shoe polish to make sure the shoes look uh, shiny and nourished and all that color that was possibly lost will get back in there. I like to use moderate to firm pressure to really push that cream into the leather to get those nutrients in that skin so the leather doesn't crack or dry out in any way. I also found that it makes the shoe shine really well when you brush it. Now that we're done, um, instead of using a pig bristle brush this time, I'm gonna be using a horse hair brush. Um, and using that brush, I will bring the polish to a soft shine. Remember, any horsehair brush will do, so just find one that works for you and go ahead and bring that shoe to a nice shine. Personally, I can never get a fantastic mirror shine in one sitting. I always mirror shine and it looks really, really great, but I come back the next morning or even a couple of days later and I continue to shine and it always looks better. But when I run out of time, when I need the shoes to be done pretty quickly, I have another method and I know you've already seen um, the title of this video, but I stick the shoes in the refrigerator. While I shine one pair, one pair is sitting in the fridge and then I switch them and come back to them and that kind of hardens the wax, it settles everything down, it uh, gets everything ready, and when I come back to it, it kind of replicates the overnight effect, and the wax starts to shine really well again. I kind of discovered this method on accident. I would leave shoes overnight, and they would shine better the next morning, and I thought, I wonder what I could do to replicate that effect. So I started putting the shoes in different places, and eventually I landed on the refrigerator. Um, if, if I guess you could put them in the freezer as well, um, that would probably work fine. I think uh, you just want the waxes to settle down and to really harden so that they can continue to shine and shine until you build that perfect mirror finish. Okay, here's the before. I know they look fantastic and shiny, but I just want them to be perfect. And here is the after. The mirror shine is all done. You can see me raising my hands there. And you can see that the mirror shine looks uh, pretty shiny. I'm, at least I'm happy with it. I know there are people who can do a much better job than I can. I, I, I am not the best shiner in, on the planet, um, but I do the best I can. Um, but I think that the, the shoes look much better than before. They're ready to wear again. They're ready for that wedding coming up. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook at The Elegant Oxford. Links to my pages are in the description of this video. Remember, 
Always put your best foot forward. The small details matter most, so don't forget to hashtag shine your shoes. See you next time.